Hi, this is Pradeep. So today I'm going to explain about universal allocation. I'm not sure whether you are aware about this particular feature of SAP or not, but this is uh, something which is introduced in S4 2021 and it is going to replace multiple activities which was there in our on-premise and uh, mostly it is going to help uh, the business users work very easy for the allocation point of view. So let's try to understand what is this concept and how the things will be simplified here. But before going to explain this concept, uh, I'm going to show you some areas which is already there in our old concept or in ECC, as well as in S4 HANA is also it is there. So first let's understand this one. And this video is helpful for those already you are aware, uh, aware about the allocation process because I'm going to show you one scenario related to our profitability analysis point of view where we are doing the COPA assessment. Another one is your distribution cycle. Another one is your assessment. Now you can see my screen. Uh, this one is uh, seems like it is normal month end allocation. And here uh, initially I have uh, recorded the cost with a cost center in this example. The cost center is uh, 2003, which is my canteen cost center. And uh, those costs I have allocated to my production cost center. And uh, this is uh, at the time of posting the coin transaction. But here you can see something different it is there. Normally we know that uh, business process uh, is different when we are using assessment. But here you can see business process is something different. Okay, And uh, I hope you can guess what is the business process earlier we are using. Earlier we are using RKIU. But now it's not RKIU. Now it is something different. Now you must be thinking that as I completed this allocation process, so definitely I have configured the assessment cycle, which earlier we have uh, uh, we used to configure through the case U1. Let's try it. Let me show you the case U1 whether it is there or not. So. Uh, I'm trying to search my allocation process where we are using here also I'm using secondary cost element you can see this is my secondary cost element 4007 and it is category 42 only so there is no difference so I, I'm using here if you'll let me take here all the secondary cost elements okay particularly I'm looking here the secondary cost element and uh, what is that 4007 so 4007 you can see 42 category so it seems like it is allocation process by using the assessment cycle right so now let's see the assessment cycle so i am trying to search here ksu3 which is assume that it is created okay so now check here no as no assessment cycle then how it is possible without creating one assessment cycle i allocated this cost so you can see the minus entries are there and corresponding plus entries you will find in your production cost center Okay, so 4007 you can see it is there. So cost allocated without having the assessment cycle. So then how it is possible? This is one scenario. That means now we are not going to create the traditional assess. It is still there. It is still there. But instead of that, by using the universal allocation, you will get it. So end result will be same. For this, you will check. You will find the reconciliation document. You can see here, if I will check my document, my source document I got here the finance document and this is nothing but your reconciliation document so all the old features which was there in a traditional S4 system it is there in ECC reconciliation was not there but in S4 reconciliation is there and this is reconciliation but now I'm explaining the one more step which is universal allocation right so old process everything it is there now let's take one, another example that is your COPA assessment cycle where earlier we used to create through KU1 right so you can see here I recorded the cost initially with one cost object then I allocated the cost to production cost uh, to profitability segment so this is here you can see this one Okay, so initially cost was recorded with this admin cost center and uh, this cost is transferred to so it is a mi minus entry that means this cost object is sender and the corresponding receive where you can see four zero zero eight four zero zero eight here you will find uh, it's transferred to copa admin expenditure copa yeah this one four zero zero eight should be there 28 this one okay so sender cost center is 2002 2000 is the sender cost center and uh, it is there okay now let's verify whether the copa assessment cycle created or not so let's check it so we checked no assessment cycle now i'm going to check the copa assessment cycle earlier which you used to create through pa transfer structure and all uh, used to create the kue u1 
okay so that is also replaced with this universal allocation <clears throat> it's not there if i will try to search no copa assessment cycle nothing so a lot of things are simplified here because of universal allocation and all these things we are now managing with the fury applications not through the normal the configuration so first question is why we need universal i hope you got my point what what the problem what the issue was earlier it was there or what was the old process and now end result if you'll see business process point of view it is same it is the same month and allocation process but process will be simplified here right so my Copa assessment, it's working as usual. Initially, I recorded the cost with this cost object and I'm transferring the cost to Copa. It is there. Then I tried with one secondary cost element, the initially recorded with cost object, then I transferred to the production cost center. Here also distribution also. You can see these initial transactions. This, uh, although some minus entries are there, I, I was trying to do the reversal because the reversal process is also there. So that's why multiple entries are there. But distribution cycle is also replaced with universal allocation. So why this universal allocation is there and what is the benefit? So universal allocation, why the need of universal allocation is the organization struggle to understand their allocation process. I'm sure when initially from the learning point of view or when you tried in your implementation also, there are a lot of confusions are there, like how, why so many uh, segments are there. And recently, two, three days before someone also asking me in the, uh, in comments that why you have created three segments. Okay, so that's why always this confusion is there. And in every business user, they, are, they have their own thought process to create the segments how we will uh, allocate this cost the, your uh, number of uh, cycles will be there segments or SKF will be there so this confusion is always there and long cycle runtime that means you are going to create multiple cycles assessment cycle distribution cycle period and distribution cycles which in total I can say business user point of view it's a complex things right that is for that to simplify this one also we need the universal journal then <clears throat> as I said uh, struggling for the answering all these questions like how this cost will be allocated okay how on what basis we are going to allocate the cost can we use here SKF or we can use here activity types so always this complication or confusion is there now all these things will be simplified with our universal allocation so universal allocation is going to provide you the uh, architecture or it is there in the finance so we are not going to do now these things in controlling we are going to do within finance only and uh, that means you can say one application or couple of applications fury apps are going to simplify the entire process so that means now onwards if if i will say that there is no distribution there is no assessment there is no copa assessment nothing is there so everything is replaced with universal general it's absolutely right okay so that means now we are going to merge our financial accounting our management accounting all our allocation process are part of your universal allocation and we are going to also going to combine our planned and actual so so it is going to provide a simulation that means before final run we can also go for a test run so if everything is fine then go for final run right if uh, some changes are there you are free to do anything and who is going to manage these things now business users are going to manage things of course we have to do the configuration for that but uh, it is easy for them to manage it so it is provide for multiple currencies so that simplification is also uh, there but still some limitations are there as it is a new release maybe in future they are going to add that one so still universal allocation does not cover your activity allocation activity allocation still we have to follow the traditional process that means we are going to still use the business transaction rkl from on premises only it is not there then your order settlement the allocation structure settlement profile all these things so that is also not available wbs element is also not available so these are the limitations now uh, what are the things it is going to simplify when you are going for gl we are going to have 24 transactions are there from cost center point of view we have 24 transactions three codes are there from from a uh, copa point of view we have 24 transactions are there okay so this one all these things will be simplified with our universal allocation so here we are going to have uh, uh, some concept it is known as your manage allocation so what is manage allocation so we are going to use the cost centers profit center your margin analysis that everything will be part of our context which will be part of your allocation cycle so we are going to use the distribution 
the overhead allocation that is nothing but your assessment cycle so uh, overhead then we have uh, uh, overhead allocation then distribution distribution already i explained that when you are using primary cost element so here also you we are using primary cost element if you go to the system you will find these are nothing but primary cost elements these 3024 3, 3024 these are my primary cost elements let's have a look into this 24 yeah category one so that means we are using primary cost element so distribution method replaced with your universal allocation your assessment cycle 4007 already we have seen the category 42 that is also is replaced with universal allocation so total we are going to have the five applications fury apps are there so with that we are going to manage all this process so you just imagine we have uh, ksu1 ksu2 uh, ksu3 then we have uh, ksv1 distribution point of view ksv2 ksv3 then ku1 so all these t codes are no more available i mean uh, sorry my mistake it's it's still available but it can be replaced with these different applications so now we can create our assessment uh, allocation cycle with manage allocation app let's check that <clears throat> So I'm trying to access manage allocation, this application. So you can see manage allocation, this is the application. So these are the, right now I'm in Fiori and here if uh, like uh, simply you just need to click on create and create your allocation cycle. So I have already some allocation cycles are there. Let's see it. Here also you are going to define your sender rule, your receiver rule, segments, all these things you can see here. Now you can see different allocation cycles I have created, but through Fury applications, manage allocation. Okay, so this one is for my COPA, which is replacement of your COPA assessment. So this one I have created. If you click here, you will get the details. So you definitely would need to try this one. You can try this one and you can. Okay, so here we are going to define our assessment cycles. Then here you can also fix your ledger. So you can define your leading ledger. You can define your ex predictive ledger, extension ledger, so that you can use here. Then you are going to define here uh, segments you are going to define. Like I created here the segments, like how we are going to allocate the cost to the senders, right? So those things are also you can allocate. So everything we are going to manage through the Fury application. So this is my COPA assessment cycle, one I created here. So sender, receiver and receiver factors, everything is there. Similarly, we can also define, so one application is for everything, for all type of, either whether it is COPA assessment, whether it is normal assessment, like this one, canteen cost. This assessment cycle, 16,000. By using this, by using this one, I able to manage this assessment cycle, this one. Okay, so this one. So, <clears throat> That is also possible cost center to cost center through assessment cycle. But now assessment, there is nothing assessment cycle. So when you are going for manage allocation, so this one is known as, uh, earlier we used to say it is assessment cycle. Now it is known as your overhead allocation. One is a distribution where you are using primary cost element. Example, this one, 15,000 in my example. Okay, so this one is distribution method. And uh, this one, this is my naming, my naming convention. SAP is saying this is a distribution. Under manage allocation, distribution segment. Under manage allocation, we have the overhead allocation. Overhead allocation or intercompany allocations, we can say. Sorry. Then uh, we have uh, margin analysis all allocation, which is this third one. So 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, as many as you want, you can create your allocation, manage allocations. Under this particular application, manage allocation, you can create your allocation cycles. So once you created the allocation, cycle uh, then you can also run the allocation here you can see if you go to a particular cycle you will find here run okay so first you can check cycle if everything is correct or not you can go for test run right now uh, you can see direct run option is there because I already tested it otherwise we can go for test run also then you can uh, if everything is fine then you can go for actual run so this is also one application is there you can go for this option directly you can execute it from here otherwise you can use the run allocation that is also another application is there
run allocation so you can try these allocations first create it then execute it but before that make sure that you will go for a test run to confirm if everything is correct or not then you can also check allocation results so in test once it will be executed like this is the i already tested so these are the result and if we'll check here Okay, now here you can see allocation results. So this is also another allocation. You can go to another application or you can directly check here. You can also check here from the manage allocation. From this application, you can go to any any source. So if you'll see the allocation result, then I will get like how it was allocated. Okay, so it is like in, in which phase? Is it a run phase or it is completed phase? So everything you are going to get here. So just randomly, for example, I want to see the allocation type and the allocation I created, let's say it is related to over a distribution, over a Alloc overhead allocation that is nothing but your assessment so if it is there then you will get it so you can see multiple options are there so also you can manage the allocation flow so this is very very helpful and uh, by using this one our allocation process will be very simplified so once you will configure it and you will try it and you will compare you with your old allocation process where we are using distribution method or assessment cycle you will find that th this one is a bit easy from the business point of view and here uh, what are the context we are going to configure so the context you can configure while doing configuration you can take cost center you can take margin analysis and you can take profit center so these areas you can include in future i'm sure sap is also going to add here internal order and your WBS elements so when you are going to define allocation type so you can define your allocation type as distribution or you can use overhead if you are going to use primary cost element then use distribution method if it is overhead allocation then it will be assessment if it is margin analysis then it will be COPA assessment that you can also take so this is one hints related to your this different applications manage allocations or uh, basically you are going to use here the manage allocation one application run allocation allocation results and allocation flow try this one any issue any questions add in the comments i will definitely answer this one so it is new updates if you will, if you are going to add this case studies in your resume then it is going to help you and particularly when you are going for interview point of view if something new skill it is there in your resume then like more number of searches will be there and uh, your cv will be better in it will be there in the search run it will be captured easily by the application tracking system from hr point of view thank you very much i hope this will help you